Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to try something a little different. This is my third pour today. I have not been happy. The first one I just was on glass. Normally I'll save it and reuse that skin. Uh, no, I, I didn't. The uh, I, I was so unhappy with it that... Oh, come on. This dropper isn't actually working like a dropper. Okay, this is pearlescent acrylic ink, and my dropper isn't working, and I'm trying to make sure I've got, i get a little more in there. So, anyway, the first one was so terrible that I didn't even want it as a skin. So I actually rinsed it off the glass, and I don't think that I've ever done that before. Uh, the second one, I don't like, but as a skin, as an acrylic skin, I can use it for something. So I'm trying to judge just how much metallic there is in doing that, because for whatever reason, these droppers don't really, aren't working like droppers. Maybe this one will? Nope. Okay, so this is my third attempt, and I'm really hoping I get something this time. I was using uh, acrylic paints the last time, and I thought, well, let's, let's just go completely different and use acrylic inks, which I have not done in a while. And this one is FX. The other two were Dale Rowney. But again, my little dropper is not working like a dropper. So let me just pour some of this in here. There we go. And I'm not even a fan of this color scheme. So I don't know what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I think I'm tired of everything. And I want something else. Let's shake the black up and add a little more black. Okay. So, <clears throat> it gets, it's very, uh, pores are unpredictable, but it gets very discouraging when nothing works. When you keep trying, <clears throat> and absolutely nothing works out. This is going to be Liquitex pouring medium that I will put in the black, and a fair bit of it. Let me get my Floetrol and silicone oil. And floetrol needs to be shaken before you use it, and then mixed well. Because the floetrol needs to bind with your paint, or in this case, acrylic ink. Oh, let me do floetrol in this one as well. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do a lot of Floetrol in that one, because <clears throat> at this point, I'm not going to be picky. Uh, let's do one thing. I want to add a little bit of silicone oil. So I dip my paintbrush in, and then just kind of, I'm going to let some drop in there, some drop in there, and some drop in there. And if this turns out, I'll probably cap it with resin. And I had been working today towards, I want a holiday painting. Uh, holiday pour. I'm not sure it's really a painting. I want a holiday pour to go in my classroom. And as you can tell, I'm not going to get that from these colors. That's not what this is about. This is about a, you know, nothing else has worked. So let's just go way out of what we normally do and see what's going to happen. And 
minute. Let's hope this black doesn't take over everything. But if it does, whatever. Hey, buddy. My lab has decided that he needs to come see what's going on. He's a sweet boy. Okay. And I really wasn't ready for this. I don't know why I brought it up here, but let's let's mix a little bit of the purple in here. And let's go with pink. Let's go with some of this black. Let's try a little more purple. Maybe all the purple. Let's try pink. Since this is just by far the most promising looking one so far, in totally unexpected colors. Sort of, I don't really want, I'm trying to let it do its thing naturally, but perhaps I should have put down a base color. Save those because I do recycle. Acrylic pouring can be a very wasteful medium or method. So trying to save whenever I can or recycle is a good thing. Okay. And if I was probably a little more patient, it would fill in by itself. Okay. Now, that is fairly interesting. Getting rid of any air bubbles, encouraging it to form any cells, any more cells. It's doing a great job by itself. This just looks a little busy. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I don't want to burn it. back when it dries. Okay guys, I just wanted to share that when I went to move it uh, in true form with today, it tipped off the end this way, so it looks a little bit differently now. And while that was unintentional, I think I kind of like what it did 
up here a little bit. And now that I'm looking at this, it, it looks more like a Halloween pour. <sighs> Halloween's good. I can save it for, you know, that might not be a bad thing, save this for Halloween. So, not certainly not what I was thinking when I started out, but um, I'll let it go where it goes. I'll be back when it dries. Okay, I am back with that pour, and <clears throat> um, again, I actually ended up this, this tipped, which is why it looks so different. I'm in love with it. I absolutely love this. Um, this may be one of my most favorite pours. Not because, oh, I've got cells, which I do. I just love the creepy factor on this one. The purple and black with the silver in there is just gorgeous. Uh, there is one thing. I was testing it. And I'm right here. I don't know if I can get it to show up. Now, I'm running my finger back and over that spot because I thought, ooh, is it dry? Can I film the second half? And I, and I touched it, and I moved some of the paint. So there's that little bit right there. And I thought it doesn't really show, but it's kind of neat that it's there, and I'm torn between uh, leaving it so that it, it does flicker. I don't know if you can see this. No, you can't down here. You can see it in person, but you can't see it from there. Um, or there's a part of me that just really wants to put a gray right, rhinestone, Swarovski crystal, crystal actually. Uh, if I can find one in that good gray to go right there. And then three black ones over here. Do not ask me why I normally do not do anything to my pores, but that's where my head is right now. Again, I just love the, the creepy factor. Uh, some people might want it uh, this way. I think it looks pretty cool this way. It's almost like a night sky if you do it this way. Um, if I look at it from this perspective, I don't want to add the crystals, but if I look at it from this perspective, I totally do. So, if you've got an idea about it, uh, let me know in the comments below. And there you have it, probably my most favorite pour because it's just creepy. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.